What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19 predicts the third and final game between South Africa and England in the T20 series. Now, England has been pretty dominant in the series so far. And uh, I think, uh, you know what? I think so uh, South Africa is going to make a comeback in this last game. Uh, they're going to win this game. It's a home game for them, and I expected them to do better than they have done so far, but, um, you know, it's part of the game, I guess. It happens. But I do expect them to make a comeback in this one. Do let me know who do you think is going to win. And as always, do drop a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And now let's jump into the third and final T20 of this series. Newlands. Cricket ground is where this game will take place. This is where the first game took place as well. And uh, that's when Johnny Bairstow went off. Scored a lot of runs. South Africa won the toss. And they've chosen to ball first. Yep. That's a good shot. One run taken. Yep. Brilliantly done. That's four runs. Four of three. Yep, catch him. Good shot into extra cover. That'll be eight runs for Jossie Butt Butt. Yep. It's hooked away. Joss Butler on fire. He's not taking any chances. And Giddy not too happy. Oh, that's straight in front. 12 of 10. He wanted to take the risk. He did take the risk and it paid off. But Ngidi has got his own back. He's got him. Gone for 12 of 10. A big wicket. Oh, lovely shot. That's gone for four. He goes, another boundary. Mullen. Yes, catch it! There he goes. Oh, all the way for six. Brilliantly done from David Mullan. 84 meters long Lungi has been put away. Over the rope. And six runs. Got another boundary there. It's looking all right, isn't he, David? Oh, he's gone after him again. Wow, all righty then. He means business. That's another six. All righty then. 26 runs he moves on to. Of just 11, he's going out over 200 right. Clearing his front foot. And goes boom. Oh no, oh no, there it is. All right, got out of himself, David Milan. He's played his straight into the field, his hand, and that's yet another wicket for Lungi and Giri. And Giri's been quite expensive, but he has gotten two wickets as well. And he, well, he did ball a full toss, let's be honest, that, that should have been put away by Milan. Full tosses in this game are uh, quite easy. They're like free hits. It doesn't take much to put those away. And he's played it straight to the fielder, so he's only got himself to blame on that one. But still a wicket nonetheless for Lungi. Oh, that should have been taken. Why did he not take that? That's a good shot straight into the hands of the fielder, and a good shot straight into the hands of the fielder is not a good shot any longer. Because that is the end of the batsman.
It's an easy catch from Kaisa Rabada. That's the end of Jason Roy. Ben Stokes, next man in. Oh, that's a good shot. Johnny Bearstow, that'll be four runs. All right, finally he takes one. Queenie the peeny. Quinton de Cock, Quinton de Penis has got a catch finally. And guess what? It's Lungi with another wicket. Like I said, he has given up some runs, but he is taking wickets as well. Now, that was a difficult catch to take, but he has taken it. The other one was quite an easy one, and he didn't even attempt it. That's cricket 19 for you. Johnny Bear still gone, the danger man, the man in top four. Moyne Morgan, the skipper walks out to the middle now. Oh, lovely. Just to push down a ground from Benjamin Andrew Stokes, and that is four runs for him. Good shot now before runs. Brilliantly done. Eight of seven he's moved on to. Yes, the gem. Brilliant. Into extra cover. Four runs. Oh, lovely shot into the cow corner. Oin Morgan and L before runs. Double digits. Morgs moves on to as well. A lovely shot. Oh, there's a fielder on the rope. Is that the end of Ben Stokes? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's a very good catch, you know. It looks like a simple one, but it's not. Most of the time, catches like that go all the way for six. Because the fielder does not realize how close he is to the rope, and he touches the rope. And once he does that, well, it's over. Thirteen of fifteen. Well, that's a brilliant shot from Sam Curran. That'll be four. What a way to start things off. That's in the end. A lovely catch. A fantastic catch. Queenie has made up for that missed opportunity. That's brilliantly done. Very good catch, athletic catch. Quinton the Rooster. Quinton the Cooker. Tom Curran comes in to that next. Curran and Curran. Alrighty then, lovely from Tommy Curran, LB4. Oh, brilliant. He's gone straight on. They've got two fielders submerging. One of them hangs on. Ah, see what I mean? The catches on the rope look simple, but that ain't simple. Oh, is that another catch? Oh, <laughs> that's even better than the last one. Quinton de Kock have taken it to heart. He will not miss out on another opportunity, and boy is he doing a mighty good job. Look at that. Unbelievable. That is some athleticism from Queenie the Peeny. <laughs> What's wrong with me, mate? Tom Curran gone for seven. <laughs> Joffre is an expert man in. Oh, lovely. That'll be four. Don't even bother. That's nearly gone all the way for six, honestly. Yes. Oh, a great shot. Great shot. Couple of runs right there. Grappalicious. Yep. That's going to be another boundary. 25 of 16. Brilliantly done. That's another wicket down. 
Eight down now of 119 runs. George strikes and another catch for Queenie. I'm not going to say it now this time. <laughs> Sam Gurn's gone for 25 of 17. Good innings. It's been very good with the ball and uh, it's pretty decent with the bat as well. Adil Rashid's next batsman in. Good shot, very good shot from Adil Rashid. That's four runs. Got a deep batting order, haven't they, England? Jofra Archer taking him on. Fielder coming under it. All he's gonna do is watch it sail over the rope for six runs. Joff, he's got a couple of mighty blows in him. We've seen it in the IPL. He can hit him hard, he can hit him long. It just has to be in his area. It just has to be his day. That's the only trouble. He can't do it all the time. Good shot from Adel Rashid into extra cover. They've got a deep cover, but he hasn't beat. That'll be four. Like I said, England's got a really deep batting order. Oh boy, there he goes again. That's surely going to be another boundary. Here it is. 11 of just four deliveries. Adel Rashid, take a bow, son. He's the next Glenn Maxwell right here. Oh, brilliant. That'll be four. Boy, he's taking them on. He's really taking a liking to these bowlers. Okay, on the onside, on the onside. For the maximum result. <laughs> okay then. Just one more delivery left now. And uh, they've got a pretty decent total on the board already. They would have hoped for a hop. They would have hoped for a couple more runs. Oh no, they've still got two deliveries. Gone in that same area again. This time I don't think he's got all of it. No, he has. Well, no, actually he has, because that's gone over the road for six as well. And that's the end of the game. No, sorry, not the end of the game. The end of the innings. 156. You know what? For the kind of conditions these are and the kind of position they were in, I mean, they should consider themselves lucky. Al Rashid with some... Valuable runs there at the end, 200 strike, what he was going at. So Quinton de Kock and Timber Bavuma to open about uh, the batting for South Africa. And uh, it'll be Sam Curran to open about for England. It's pretty good with the ball so far, Sam. And he started things off for just a dot. That's a good shot on the offside between the two fielders from Queenie. No, before runs. That's another brilliant shot from Queenie on the onside this time, and now before runs. Nine of four. Good shot from Temba. First boundary of the day for Bavuma. Five of threes moved on to. I was watching a documentary about Bavuma. It's got very humble beginnings. I mean, it's I'm very impressed with what he's achieved so far, where he started and where he is at the moment. Good shot. He's hooked that one away. He's not the tallest of blokes, so the short delivery is not that great for him, but he's put it away. Good shot into mid wicket. Oh, that car corner. It's gone for four. A in front. First wicket of the day. Yeah. Yep, the umpire agrees. Jofra with a Jofra. 14 of nine. He's gone for Quentin de Kock. The rooster is no longer. Francois Duplessis. Next batsman in. Oh, lovely. Very good. Very good indeed, that'll be four. Lovely. Is that another boundary? Oh yes indeed it is.
Gone. Temba. It's doing well so far. Oh, brilliant. It's looking very good. South Africa is in fine control at the moment. They're going at way above the asking rate, and they've only lost one wicket, and that's an old ball, so that's just rubbing salt on wounds, ain't it? Oh, solid. Classy. As always, it's Faf. He's not faffing about, is he? Yep. Oh, lovely. Lovely from Timber. Stopped it. Field has done well. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bit of a mix-up, bit of a mix-up. Oh, he's made it back in the end. Yep. Okay. Grape shot. It's gone for six. <laughs> Who knows what I'm talking about when I say grape shot? Look at that, gone all the way for six. If they had a feel a long off instead of the mid off, that would have been out. Oh well, I, I think it would have been. You never know with this game. Oh no, tried to be a bit too cheeky, Faf, and he's gone. He's paid the price. And he's paid a heavy price. Going for 21, he was going at a pretty rapid rate, 190.9. Rassi van der Dassen is the next batsman in. Yep. It's a beautiful flick of the wrist. In between the two fielders as well. Very well done, Timber. Yep. There he goes again, finds the gap. Vuma's the man, the man to watch out for. Just 70 required and it's a no ball. Well, actually, 69 required now. Yep. Ah, lovely. That'll be four. No slips. And so it's all runs for Temba Bavuma. Yep. Beautiful. Very much so for Rassi. Oh no, unlucky. Full toss is a delivery that you should be putting away. Oh, by the way, that seam position is exquisite. Man, that's given me a hard on. That's how good that seam presentation is. That's just too... I mean, how do you even get it like that? I've tried so hard. It's all, always wobbling a little bit. It's never that straight. Heinrich Klaas, the next batsman in. Oh, lovely. It's got two fielders running backwards, they're not giving up. Oh, is that a catch? No, it's not. Very well done by the fielder, though. It would have been even better if the f other fielder had taken the catch, but that is too impressive. It's gone again. Let's see what will happen this time. I think this time he's Adam beat. That's going to go all the way for six. Yep, and it does. 81 meters long this time. And South Africa. Yep. They're doing well so far. They're not going to go down in this one, not that easily. Yep. Full toss is not going to cut it. Although, well, Sam did get a wicket with the full toss, so... And that's 50 right there for Timba. 52 or 40 for Bavuma. Opened the batting, and I have a feeling he's going to finish as well. Open the innings, end the innings as well. It's a good shot for Rassi. Oh, similar to the last one. And similar result it will be as well. Just 22 required now of 34 deliveries. Yep. There he goes again. He loves that cover area. Extra cover. We've got a deep cover. They haven't got an extra cover in, so he's fanning the rope with ease. The impact us out of off and because of that I don't think it will be given but the ball is definitely going on to hit the stumps and if you guys know me you know that I think that's out but it's not out according to the current rules that's for sure. They've reviewed it that's just a waste of a review.
Impact's clearly not in line. I mean, it's going to go onto the stumps, but that does not matter according to the current rules. Yep, outside of off, and boom. So, it's heading to stumps. According to me, it's out, but according to the rules, it is not out. Yep, there it is. Yep. Oh, that's a slap over mid wicket. No deep mid wicket, and four runs he'll collect. Just 13 required now of 29 deliveries. This should be a walk in the park for South Africa. Yep. There it is. Brilliantly done. That'll be another boundary for Bavuma. So it's going to be just 8 of 26 now. Oh, that looks close, although he is coming. Impact is... You know what? Even if they review it, he's given it out, so that would be umpire's call, which will remain out. So it was a good decision, I would say, in the end. I mean, to me, like I said, to me, it's always out. If it's in the wicket, it's out. You know, there. I don't bother with the impact shit, but, you know. Oh, lovely. Tight. We'll get a couple. Misfield it, and they'll allow him to come back for the second. Yep. Oh, straight on. Two fielders on the rope. Has he got enough on it to beat both of them? I think he does. Yes, he does. And in style, he has finished the game off. Adil Rashidi smashed him straight over the fielder's head for a maximum result finishing the game off in style very well done this is very well done that's a win for South Africa alas they've got a game under their belt six wickets they've won it by Lungi and Giri gets them out of the match as he got a few wickets and uh, he managed to uh, control the economy rate towards the end of the game as well do let me know who do you think is going to win in real life i think south africa is going to win as well and uh thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it do drop a like hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice